Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session. As we take a deeper look at Jordan Lewis, first and foremost, I'm going to say this has to be the stupidest, craziest, most silliest way you can play your defense. You got your players lined up 10 yards from the receiver. No, there's absolutely no bump and run. There is absolutely no, and I'm talking about the, the receivers get a free release. This is just crazy. I'm looking at all these films. I'm saying, okay, I'm going to do a film breakdown on Jordan Lewis and Jordan Lewis is a hell of a cover corner and you're going to limit this guy by playing him 10 to 15 yards off the snap you will not win a game in the national football playing this type of defense it's nothing to do with the player's skill set this have to do with the coaching you just do not line up your against the opposition this much you giving up 5 to 10 yards off the snap it was a quick game of pitch and toss and the only reason why Jordan Lewis caught the interception is because the guy slipped on the route. I cannot make this up. The eye in the sky do not lie. And when I'm looking at this film, I'm saying, wow. Jordan Lewis is a man-to-man cover corner. He will take out your receiver. He can play up on the line. You do not put a cover corner like this out there and play zone. I don't know for the life of me who is calling the defensive plays, but at the same time, man, you cannot rely on this front four. Look at the play. Look at this. Look how far off he is. This is just crazy. I was going to do an official breakdown, but I can't, man. This is just stupid, silly. This is crazy. This is like a game of pitch and toss. You could have had a 14 or a 15 year old kid to come out there and pass on this particular defense. It's nothing to do with the skill set. This has everything to do with how the defensive minded coach was coaching these teams to play up the play. Because I was wondering, I said, it looks like every pass was non contested and they lining up 30, 50 yards away, it looks like. It seems like it's just crazy. Good, good tackle by number 27 on that play. But outside of this, man, this this whole entire coaching philosophy and defense, I love cover two. And if you want to play a dominant cover two, you have your two cornerbacks to play up on the line. You jam the receiver and you have your safeties to make sure that they don't get beyond them. Or you have the safety to play roll out and say, hey, I'm going to at least be five to six yards back, but I'm not going to be a whole 10 yards, man. This is just crazy, man. I cannot I cannot do a film breakdown on Jordan Lewis for today. This is just crazy. Yes, he did the pick. Yes, he did all these good things. But this coaching staff, I'm so perturbed. I'm so upset about this coaching staff. There's no way. There's no way in life you're going to win a game lining up your DBs that far back. That's been my time, guys. I really thank you guys for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. I'm out. Peace.